Hello, Second Street families. I am here to give you an update on school for next week. So I was initially going to do this video a week ago and then we got pushed back a week. So it's gonna be very similar information with what you would have received um, a week ago. However, we have a few updates. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, we will be returning to school. Let's see exactly what that looks like. So the first thing we're going to talk about all is the coloring system, because I think that has everybody a little bit confused, and we're going to go over that. So our Instagram page and our Facebook profile page is a panther with a red background, and we're going to continue to update that based on the color of our county. And if I flip over here, this is the website that we have been referencing throughout this entire process. This is something the state has put together that shows what is happening in every county and how many cases per 100,000 is populating how you get to red or orange, yellow, and green. So we have constantly been referencing this and Franklin County is in the red. So based on your decision on when you want to send your child back to school and the reason for our Facebook and Instagram profile picture is based on that. So Franklin County is still red. However, this will no longer dictate when we will come to school and when we will shut down. So what that looks like is our internal dashboard. So this has been available to you for quite some time. I'm not sure if you have taken a chance to look at it, but we're going to go over it because this will begin to dictate when we have kids in the building and when we do not. So when we open this up, Currently, you are going to see an overall district number and a graph, and we're updating it this weekend to eliminate the graph, and you will actually have more boxes. So you will have a total, and that will show all district students of, I'm in edit mode here. Let me get to the view. It'll look like this. It will have a few boxes. It will have district, and then it will have Frankfurt High, and it will have Second Street, kindergarten, or I'm sorry, preschool through fourth, fifth grade, and then it will have second street, sixth grade through eighth grade. So we are breaking it up middle school and elementary school and Frankfurt High. So that will be updated by Tuesday. So as you can see currently today, we have 34 district-wide students in quarantine. That does not mean that they are positive. That means that they are they were in contact with a positive person, so they are currently in quarantine. We have four students that are positive. We have one staff as positive and 10 staff that have been in quarantine. Please also note that this represents the last 10 days. So why that is important is this is going to update, and it is especially important for Tuesday because as of Tuesday, Second Street School will have no positive staff, no staff in quarantine, and we only have three students in quarantine. We do not have any positive students. Now I'm saying that as of Friday the 15th at 323 p.m. So we are going into Tuesday with all staff in the building and all students minus three available to come back since they are currently in quarantine. So I know these numbers look like a lot, but this also includes the high school. This includes sports and anything that's happened in the past 10 days. And with new quarantine rules, by the time 10 days are up, things are back to normal for people. So this will be the dashboard that helps us make more decisions because despite Franklin County being in red, we will begin to make decisions based on what our internal rate looks like, our internal infection rate. It, do we have spread within the school amongst our students, amongst our staff? And what that could look like in the future is now that we're starting back, if we were to have an outbreak in a certain grade level, then we would look at just shutting down that grade level and one grade level would go virtual or one classroom would go virtual and the rest of Second Street could continue to come in person. So we'll make more classroom and grade level decisions from here on out than entire school systems. Obviously, something could happen. It could be an entire district decision. But starting the 19th, we are phasing back in with students coming in the building from 8 to 11. And if we had to shut down in any capacity, it should be contained to a classroom or grade level. So this is kind of how our decision process is happening. And I 
This will be a great resource. You can access this at any time. Notice if you just go to the Frankfurt Independent webpage, it's this top bar at the top. You can click it and it will update. So we already have the information updated. However, since we are changing the platform of what this looks like, you won't see the new platform until possibly as early as tomorrow, but definitely by Tuesday. And it will be broken down by 2nd Street Elementary, 2nd Street Middle, and Frankfurt High. And then, of course, the overall district. So that will give you a better idea of exactly what's happening in our schools, not just in the county and why we're making the decisions. So hopefully that will help kind of explain how we've moved away from this dashboard. And now we are making decisions based on our internal spread or lack of spread. All right. So the colors what they mean, and now our Frankfurt dashboard. And also please keep in mind that our virtual option will remain an option for the entire school year. All right, Tuesday, logistically, what does it look like? So buses will start picking up at 7 a.m. They're gonna be running their normal routes. So if your child needs the bus, please make sure that they are up and dressed and ready, and it's gonna be cold, so make sure they have on their jackets and waiting for the bus so they are not missed to come to school. Our school doors will open at 7.30, so anybody that is a car rider, our doors will not open until 7.30. Walkers, please know that our doors will not open until 7.30. Breakfast will be available upon entering the building, just as we did before in November. Class will be from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., and 11 a.m. will begin dismissal. In the past, we started dismissal at about 10.50, but we will wait until 11 this time around to start dismissal. Then from 11 to 1, there is a lunch break. You have a time for your child to do extensions, and then instruction will resume at 1. We do have a few teachers and classrooms that resume or have small groups, something happening over that 11 to 1 o'clock time. So please check with your individual grade level schedule, but for the most part, everyone will definitely be back in some sort of learning, whether it be virtual and independent or virtual meeting with a teacher at one. All right, let's talk about food. So we already talked about breakfast and that being available upon entering the building. Please note too that breakfast will be eaten in the classroom and six feet will remain. If six feet cannot occur for some reason, then we will have kids uh, make sure that they are six feet at all times. That's a non-negotiable for breakfast because masks have to be down and we will set a timer. So six feet non-negotiable for students eating breakfast in the building. Lunch will be given to students as they leave the building every day that they are here. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we are not in school on Monday, which is why it is red. So this will only occur on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Any other week, they will get it four days a week leaving the building. They will walk out on Tuesday with Wednesday's lunch in hand. On Wednesdays, our food service director will be delivering uh, food door to door. For those that have signed up, her cell phone number is there and anyone is eligible that is 18 or under in the household and this will be a five-day meal kit. Once again, all virtual students will pick up their lunch at school from 11.30 to 12.15. Techni usually this would happen on Monday. However, this week, this coming week, since we do not have school on Monday, we will um, have that available for pickup on Tuesday. And that will be a five-day meal kit, so you only come once a week if you are virtual to pick up lunch. All right, the last piece and one of the most important pieces are our COVID protocols. Masks are mandatory, plain and simple. Um, I prohibit any type of suckers or anything that would allow a mask to be down for any length of time except to just get a sip of water. So masks need to be up and worn appropriately over the mouth and nose at all times. If that is not happening, then a child will be asked to fix their mask. And if it becomes an issue in any way and it is something that can not happen, even though we have requested to do so, then we would be calling home at that time. Breakfast, once again, reiterating that we will be six feet apart at breakfast. It will happen in the classroom and we will set a 10 minute timer. We do not want our students being unmasked any longer than 10 minutes. They will eat their breakfast and they will continue about their day. 
please know how important it is that if you are positive, anyone in the household is positive, student of course is positive, that we have to know that information. If you are associated with our school district and you have kids or family members coming in and out of these buildings, then we have to know in order to keep everyone safe. So in order to notify us of someone in the household being positive or being a contact of a positive person, please call our COVID hotline at 502-234-4843. You can also send us an email at covid at frankfurt.kyschools.us. It is Kentucky law that we are notified about students. And of course, that we ask you to inform us of any parents or anyone else in the household, because it is so vital to keep everyone safe and for us to document those numbers and to do proper contact tracing in order to keep the spread to a minimum. So this is the information for next week. We are so excited to get kids back in the building. It has been quite some time. We've had some small targeted groups, but nothing to the extent that we're about to see next week. So we are very excited and we hope everyone has a wonderful three-day weekend and we will see you on Tuesday, January 19th. Have a great one.